you. And we've spent the day digging into Larry Taylor Jr.'s background to find this isn't his first time in trouble with the law. In fact, one of his most recent arrests included another burglary. The now's Mike Pelton is live on the west side with a story you'll see only on RTV6. Mike. Well, in the past 14 months, authorities encountered Larry Taylor on two different occasions, arresting him for public indecency and for a burglary here at the Cloverleaf Apartments. 18-year-old Larry Taylor has two different run-ins with police. Most recently, in June of this year, prosecutors charged him with public indecency and public nudity. According to court documents, Taylor is accused of driving around in a car with his genitals out, exposing himself to a woman in this Nora parking lot near 86th Street and College Avenue. Officers met up with Taylor on that evening in June as he continued to drive around the Nora parking lots. He broke in and stowed some stuff. Crystal Smith also had a near encounter with Taylor. She lives at the Cloverleaf apartments on the west side, where a police report indicates Taylor was one of three suspects in a burglary in September 2014. The suspects entered a second floor apartment only to find a teenager inside. There was no yelling or anything, all except them running up and down the steps. Larry Taylor was a juvenile at the time of the burglary. Smith has since lived in fear those who broke into her neighbor's place would come back, but never imagined authorities would later accuse one of the suspects, Taylor, in the high-profile murder of Amanda Blackburn. He's sick. He's capable of breaking in, killing people, and, you know, exposing himself. That's, he's not safety, you know, he's not, he shouldn't be out. And court records show that in terms of the public indecency charge from the Nora parking lots, Larry Taylor is scheduled for a pretrial conference in that case on December 1st. For now, we're live on the west side for the Now Indy, Mike Pelton, RTV6.